Her commitment of loyalty brought blessings of good fortune. Welcome to Becky's Beauty Motivational Makeup Monday, where I do my makeup while sharing a Bible story with you. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. I am strong, beautiful, I am good enough. I belong after all because of what you've done. This Hi beauties, this is episode or lesson. I really need to decide what I'm going to call them, episodes or lessons. But anyways, this is lesson three or episode three. I really hope you're enjoying these faith-based videos. If you are, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with your friends and family. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a woman named Ruth. In the book of Ruth, chapter one, we are introduced to a woman named Naomi, her husband, Elimelech, I hope I'm saying that right, and their two sons. During this time, there was famine in their land, so they decided to move to a country named Moab. While in Moab, Naomi's husband dies, leaving her with the two sons. Then her two sons marry Moabite women named Ophrah and Ruth. They live there about 10 years and then both the sons die as well, leaving all three women widowed. Things were looking better in Bethlehem where they were from. So Naomi decided she was going to go back home. She told her daughter-in-laws that they too should go back to their people, go back home with their family. Aunt Orpha did go back home with her family, but Ruth would not go. She knew how hard it would be for Naomi being widowed with no sons and especially because of her age. In Ruth 1.16, we read that Ruth made a decision that day and made a commitment of loyalty to Naomi. So it says, and remember that here Naomi is telling her daughter-in-laws to go back home to their families. Um, Ruth 1.16 says, but Ruth said, entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God shall be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you and me. Wow. So here, Ruth's husband has already died. She has no legal ties to Naomi. But because of the love that she had for Naomi and her husband, she decides to dedicate her life in taking care of Naomi. And because of this, she found favor in the eyes of God. As she was taking care of Naomi, Ruth met a man named Boaz, who eventually took Ruth as his wife and took care of both her and Naomi. Not only that, but Ruth then had a son with Boaz who brought joy to both Ruth's and Naomi's life. His name was Obed, who grew up to be the grandfather of the King David. The lineage in which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born into. It's crazy how God uses people to stand by our side in our time of grief and then blesses them for it. And we can also make a commitment of loyalty to God. If you are willing and able to, I invite you to repeat this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I recognize that I am a sinner. I acknowledge that your son Jesus died on the cross for our sin and rose on the third day. I make a commitment of loyalty to you. Be my Lord and Savior from this day forward. In the name of Jesus, amen. So that concludes this video. If you said that prayer with me, I would love to know leave a comment down below or if you want it to be a little more private you can always message me on facebook messenger on instagram direct messages don't forget to follow me on all my social medias they will be down in the description box don't forget to also like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your family and friends and as always remember that you are beautiful and you are enough bye beauties